billion laboratory tests are performed in North America every year. And this results in 20 million spent on healthcare costs. Laboratory tests are crucial for diagnosing disease. When you feel sick, you go to doctor's office to get checked. After an initial control, doctor gives you a blood requisition form. The next day, you go to a diagnostic facility to get your blood drawn. While you are anxiously waiting, your samples are shipped to an off-site centralized lab. In the lab, samples are processed by an expensive and bulky instrument that plays access to time-sensitive information, and plays can be deadly. Based on years of research, we have developed a novel analysis method that allows us to offload work from hardware to software. This enabled us to turn existing bottleneck instrument into a miniaturized and patent pending device, creating a low cost and portable device with worldwide data access. Now, instead of wasting days, you can get all the work done in doctor's office. This eliminates unnecessary delays that stands between you and your health. For doctors, this would mean same day follow up, two times more revenue is generated per day, and more new patients. Based on our experiments, we can conduct more than 80% of the existing clinical blood tests. Compared to our competitors, we have the only product that is both low cost and highly versatile, meaning that it can cover more tests than its competitors. Unlike our predecessors, we will enter the market by engaging in strategic partnerships because our technology works. We will sell our device, software platform, and consumables while our partners bring in their distribution channels, staff, and regulatory expertise. By bringing the diagnostic capacity to doctor's office, we can fundamentally change how we respond to global pandemics, including coronavirus, SARS, MERS, and others. In today's centralized model, we are stuck in reactive mode with lagging information. Our decentralized model will help keep the world protected and healthy through frontline rapid screening. We have a great team with expertise in hardware, software, molecular biology, and business. I myself is an engineer who has co-founded this startup before and also worked in a pre-regulated environment with Big Pharma. Lydia brings in uh, software expertise and analytical chemistry. We also have a world-renowned professor with expertise in diagnostic testing. Um, he is currently the Canada Research Chair for Human Health and Synthetic Biology. But we are more than researchers. We already built and deployed seven units in Ecuador, Brazil, Colombia, and Canada that are successfully screening for Zika virus in Latin America. And we accomplished all of this with our hand-built alpha prototype that is currently working in the field today. With today's uh, investment, we would like to turn, start turning our alpha prototype to a scalable beta product so that we are ready for our paid pilot studies with Eastern Health located in Newfoundland and Labrador and upcoming FDA approvals. But we don't need to wait for our FDA approvals to start selling our devices. There is already an established research market and we have customers ready to purchase our device. We recently gained traction and raised 100K from a single pitch competition two weeks ago. We expect to receive our FDA approval in two years and start selling our devices to the diagnostic market and start to scale up from there on. We are LSK, we decentralize diagnostic labs. We are deployed in four countries there's an 18 billion market size, and we enable lab tests at doctor's office. Thank you. Great presentation, interesting technology that you've developed. Um, with the, so a couple of questions on the units that are deployed. How many are deployed? How much are they sold for? And so I'd love to get into a bit more of those units. Technology. That's a great question. Actually, we haven't generated any revenues. This was our master's project. Livia, me, and Dr. Party together, we developed the technology and it was part of conducting and uh, deploying decentralized lab capacity in Latin America. And that's why we didn't generate any revenues. In the process, we also filed our provisional patent. So now we are ready to start selling. Um, so we currently have seven units currently in use in Ecuador, Brazil, Colombia, and Canada. And moving forward then, once it is kind of commercially readily, right? how much are you thinking to sell for? Uh, 
so right now we're thinking five to 10K, um, but in a recent market research we did, we asked people how much they would pay and they said 20K, so we're a little confused. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can you. Can you just break it down into the software, consumable, and hardware? Um, what is the breakdown out of the 20K and how much of this recurring? What is the frequency of recurring that you're expecting? Okay, so we will sell the device and then it will come with a premium model where there will be a basic uh, software. And for upgrades where you would need to do extra analytical performance, that will be a recurring revenue with premium models. For consumables, uh, our device can assess multiple reactions at the same time, and that's how we will enter the market. And there are two options on that end, where we can employ licensing with already existing uh, labs, or we can start selling our devices as well. And on top of that, um, we saw that people are interested in having warranty. That will be also a recurring revenue, although we do not need warranty. And have you done any projections on the either dollar amount or percentage? Um, we, we have a rough idea, and it's covered in this slide. Uh, but there's two different markets, so we're right now working on the defining that. Research market, the prices are lower. In the clinical market, prices are higher. We're still conducting market research to clarify those areas. Um, I'm really curious, what, what is the insight that you concluded that allows you to build um, a machine that can do more testing, more cost effectively than anything else in the market? So what's the underlying technology? What was the research insight that said, hey, this is doable? That, that's a great question. So uh, our professor, Dr. Party, has developed a new essay called Paper-Based Diagnostics where there's a color change if the date test is positive, but it's not always that distinctive. So he needed a technology that would give the reaction results easily, and our target market with Zika virus was developing countries. So we were really restricted about what we can use, and we come up with a technology that was specifically for that, but after developing that, we realized that there's a greater potential, so we expanded that, and here is some of our results that we did in our lab. What we did is that we compared our product with the existing conventional plate readers side by side, and our squared values indicate that it is, if it's closer to one, it means that it's a good limit in terms of det determining the uh, reaction. Is it, is it because you have a, a better spectrometer? Is it because, like, is I'm it, just curious, what is it so that allows you to determine the color more effectively or efficiently to determine what type of so I cannot get into too much details, but all I can say that we are not using absorbance. We develop our own technology that uses reflected light instead of uh, transmitted light. Okay. And in addition to that, I forgot to say, um, through our Latin America studies, we found that we are have 98% accuracy when compared to existing RT-QPCR with our test. Zika, which is a huge health crisis in the developing world. Uh, access to non-dilutive funding to help you grow your business or to evolve the technology. Have we looked into that or have you had any opportunity to explore? So we recently graduated, so we are looking to that. Um, that will be part of our financing too, but there is also a bigger potential right now with the coronavirus. Um, we are now actually got a grant on that and we will be developing the tests. But our device main market proposition is that you don't have to wait to get your test done and get the results because early treatment enables better recovery. Um, but yes, we will be doing that. Hey, thank you very much. That's great. Thank you.